So if you haven't heard about microneedling before or need a quick reminder, this is basically a minimally invasive way to create micro channels or tiny wounds in the skin that allow the body to accelerate and support the skin's healing process. So by creating these micro channels, you're basically telling the body that it needs to sell, send white blood cells to start healing. And this is great not only for acne scarring, for hyperpigmentation, but also for fine lines and boosting collagen in the skin. So if you're wanting to have more of a glow and even texture or to help certain areas brighten, microneedling is definitely something worth trying. And what I have in my hands are two different type of tools, very similar, but with very specific differences, which we are going to dive into today so that you can decide for yourself which one is best for you. In this hand, we have the Banisher 3.0 from Banish, and I'm going to highlight the features, the pros, the cons. And in this hand, I have a generic micro needling derma roller. All right, so let's start with the derma roller. The features are simple. You have a handle, you have the actual rolling piece here with titanium bristles or needles, micro needles, hence the name micro needling, which are about one to 1.5, sometimes 0.5 millimeters, but you'll typically get these generic ones with one to 1.5 millimeters. You can see that there. All right, so those are the features. Now, some of the benefits to using a derma roller, one, it is pretty much available anywhere, at your physical shops, online, you can get it from Amazon to eBay to Timo, wherever you can find it, so readily available. Number two, it is actually quite cheap. Now, I got this one, this is a generic brand, I got this for about $8.00. And I did a quick search. You can actually get this for about $1.50. It is a very cheap option for doing at-home microneedling. Now, another feature is the fact that it is quite broad. So you do have pretty good coverage here, not only for the face, but if you had any sort of scarring or pigment on your body, then you could use it for that and it would be a lot quicker to go over those areas. Some people use it on their scalp as well, depending on what your goals are and what it is that you're trying to remedy. Now, let's talk about some of the downsides, the cons, to using a derma roller. The first is technique sensitivity. With the skin, it is very important to use proper technique when using a derma roller, and this is simply because someone, and I'm speaking from personal experience, might press too hard or pull on the skin, causing damage to the skin. And the first time I used a derma roller was about 10 years ago, and I could have been better with my technique. And because of the way that I was using it, I did have a lot of acne and acne scarring, and all I wanted to do was get rid of it, and I sort of used it like an eraser, which is not the best way to use it. And that caused me to have some spots on my face where I dug into the skin and it actually now looks like I have these larger pores. The second con is the lengthier recovery. The derma roller can cause more redness and swelling post-treatment. So it could take 12, 24, maybe 48 hours. It does depend on your skin and how sensitive your skin is especially if technique that you're using is not optimal. So that's definitely something to consider if you're wanting a tool and a microneedling session that is shorter and has a shorter downtime. All right, so that's the derma roller. Let's move on now to the stamper. This is the Banish 3.0. Now let's just dive straight into the, the pros, is that with this tool, the head pops off. So you can replace these and you can keep the original, the original handle and just replace the heads, which is great for the environment. It is sustainable and it 
turns out to be much cheaper when you're just replacing the head and not the entire stamper. So that just clips straight on and then you have the cap. And so, whoop, or the entire thing, snap it back on. So with the Banisher, because it has significantly smaller needles, 0.5 instead of one or 1.5, it is very user-friendly. This is very easy to control and there's less risk of over rolling, which I definitely am guilty of when it comes to the derma roller. I added too much pressure, but with this, it is easy to control. It's actually quite weighty, which is nice. And when you press in, it's just so much easier to get that coverage. And because of that, it's very user-friendly. If you are new to microneedling, then this is definitely something to consider. Thing you don't want to damage your skin. Maybe it's a little bit intimidating. You might have been thinking of going to a clinic instead and getting a professional to do it but in fact when you use the banisher you don't need to be a professional you will become an absolute pro but from the get-go anyone can actually use it very beginner friendly the second thing is less trauma which leads to quicker recovery time so because of the control and just the way that the bristles are, they're shorter, they get into the skin, the way that it's shaped and the nature of stamping over rolling, there is less trauma to the skin, less risk of tearing the skin. So less skin trauma means quicker recovery time, which is great news. If you're someone who wants to include this in your night routine, this is something that I do, do it in your night routine and it only takes about eight hours to recover after that and the next day you can put on your makeup your spf if that's something that you do or just go about your usual skincare so in conclusion choosing the right tool is of utmost importance and a very personal decision ultimately it depends on what your skin concerns are what your budget is what your comfort level is of application the derma roller is great for general use, while the Banisher 3.0 offers precision for targeted issues. So there you have it, the derma roller and the Banisher stamping tool. Now, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and we'll see you next time. Happy stamping or rolling.